What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I had to talk about this week's SmackDown and what's going on with Jimmy, Jay, and Roman Reigns. And I actually like the fact that this week wasn't so much centered on Roman Reigns. Like it has been for I don't know how many weeks since he's uh, come back to the WWE from uh, last year. This more has been focusing on Jimmy and Jay, their dynamic. Will they be able to reclaim the SmackDown Championship goal? Will they be on the top of the tag team division like they once were? But at the same time, Roman is still trying to get Jay to understand like, you know, he's kind of, you know, needs him like yo i you know i've taken you to higher heights than your brother ever could so what's going on here who you gonna side with i like this man it it's a slow build but it's you can tell this storyline or any storyline that involves roman reigns they give a lot of thought and effort into i wish they would do that with more storylines throughout wwe not on smack not only on smackdown but also on raw as well so i took some notes from Jimmy and Jay's match versus the Street Profits. It was a very enjoyable opening match. Damn near could have been put on a pay-per-view for a tag team championship match. It was very enjoyable. So I kind of want to get my thoughts and opinions on that. Jay and Jimmy getting hyped in Roman's locker room. Then Roman wants to know where Jay's loyalty will be at. And I like that. It was just something simple right before the match even started. First thing you see on SmackDown, you know, Jimmy trying to hype up Jay like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We back. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, you know, get some work out here. I'm trying to, you know, become tag team champs again. Let's, let's take down the street profits. And, and Jay, he's, you know, he's nodding along. But then when Roman comes in, he kind of puts his head down and he's like, yo, who side you going to be with? And Jay's like, I'm going to be with you, Roman. You, you know, I'm with Jimmy tonight, but you know, I'm always going to be with you. All right, cool. So you got Usos versus Street Profits. Uh, Street Profits talking trash before the Usos even come out there. The Usos come out there. They start talking trash to the Street Profits. I love this. You know, it was like a little mini promo before the match. And I like the fact that uh, they're like keeping that feud going on social media as well. The match starts. Street Profits have control. Montez Ford mocking the Usos within the match. I thought that was entertaining. Montez Ford is actually pretty entertaining uh, on the mic. Like a little bit cringe here and there, but for the most part, I find them entertaining. I like the commentary between Pat McAfee and Michael Cole talking about the family drama, the family issues that's going on with Roman, Jay, and Jimmy. The commentary on this particular match was actually enjoyable. I like the fact that they're really bringing up some backstory here and giving some context to the match. You know, I like the fact they're bringing they're bringing up uh, Jimmy hasn't really wrestled in the ring for a while now since he you know came back from injury. So I like the fact that you know they're announcing that like yo I don't know if Jimmy and Jay are going to be on the same page because of Roman and his input on where. The family should go. I, I like that. I thought that would, it gives that the extra drama to matches like this. And even though this match doesn't really pertain to Street Profits as much, you can still see the overall story being built between Roman and and Jimmy and Jay, so I, I like that. I'm liking the back and forth action between both teams. Montez does a amazing flip over the top rope over one of the turnbuckles to uh take out jay on the outside once again i literally be thinking they put a trampoline anytime montez ford is in the ring the dude has hops like i honestly think he possibly should be playing basketball or something because his hops is ridiculous bro like he does it effortlessly like he's clearing the top turnbuckle the top rope by several feet. Like, it's ridiculous, bro. So, shout out to Montez Ford, man. Being hella athletic and just having hops. Just to have hops. At this point, this is a good opening match. I was enjoying it. The Twisted Neck Breaker by Angelo Dawkins to Jimmy Uso in the middle of the ring was very nice. I like that for a two count. Montez Ford goes for a frog splash. I love his frog splash. It's He gets so much elevation on it. But he misses because uh, Jay ends up pulling Jimmy 
out of harm's way. So Montez Ford pretty much eats the canvas. And in the process, Angelo Dawkins tackles Jay Uso while he's outside the ring. Then Jimmy, still inside the ring, ends up hitting the super kick to Montez Ford for the one, two, three victory, man. It was nice. It was it was it was a nice little exchange at the end. Jay had his back. You feel me? And I like that Jimmy was able to capitalize and he got the pin here. I want to say as a tag team division, I still think there needs to be more players on the SmackDown side, but I can at least say they're trying. I I don't know how it is on Raw and I don't care to know, but I can at least say that the SmackDown division, they're trying to make something of it. They're trying to give it some type of life, some type of hype. So I can I can appreciate that. At the end, so we go to Roman Reigns uh locker room. Jay is having a sit down talk with Roman. It's them, you know, Jay, you know, being hyped that he's about to potentially get the tag team championships again. And Roman's like, you know, why you didn't let me know this? You know what I'm saying? Why you didn't let me know this is what you really wanted to do? I, I thought you said you had my back. And this is when I really start digging this promo, this little promo segment. Uh, I like this. Basically, Roman was manipulating Jay. He's manipulating him this entire time just since he, you know, has gotten Jay to fall in line. He's manipulating him even more against his own twin brother. He's like, look, ever since you, you've linked up with me, followed, you know, gotten in line and, and has acknowledged me as the tribal chief, you've been main event Jay. People know who you are. People associate yourself with me, and they know who you are. You ma you've been main eventing pay per views. Now that Jimmy has came back, now you're the opening match for SmackDown. Like, come on, man! Like, think about it. What you doing here? Like, you don't want to go back to people not knowing who you are. Which one's Jimmy? Which one's Jay? And I like that. And you can see on Jay's face, he's like, I never did think of it like that. Which leads me to believe that I do think next week for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, I have a feeling that Jay is going to turn on Jimmy. I think he's going to cost them the match. And Ray and Dominic, they're going to retain the SmackDown Championship. I think that's what's going to happen. That's my personal opinion. Just the way this is set up, the way the seeds have been planted, the way Roman Reigns is kind of manipulating Jay right now and really having him think, like, should I be doing this? You know, I want people to know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to be confused by my twin brother. Like, I like that. Manipulation at its finest. I think this is great. And we may see a potential good feud between Jimmy and Jay, man. I'm I'm all for that. I'm all for that being a, a nice little feud at a pay-per-view. Now, the question is, what does Roman Reigns do? Hell in a Cell is the next pay-per-view. Who does he face? That's what I want to know. So, comment down below. Let me know. Who does Roman Reigns face at Hell in a Cell? Or does he just take that pay-per-view off and they primarily focus on Jimmy and Jay? I would not have a problem with Roman not being featured on that pay-per-view. Granted, it, it does bring the pay-per-view down uh, a notch because Roman's not on it. But at the same time, I know they're trying to build an overarching story. So if this is a story that's going to enhance future storylines between all three, Jimmy, Jay, and Roman, I'm all for it. So comment down below. Let me know what's your thoughts and opinions on this recent SmackDown. And if you guys are interested in Jimmy versus Jay at Hell in a Cell. Not in Hell in a Cell, but you know, well, maybe you could have the match in Hell in a Cell. But just at the pay-per-view itself. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But I appreciate all the love and support. Bro240K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.